Hello, I'm Christina from Milan Creative Co and in this tutorial I want to show you how to remove the white background from watercolors using Photoshop. Open your image in Photoshop. I usually capture my artworks using a scanner. For watercolors, let your paper dry, then put something heavy on top of it to remove all the wrinkles. Then scan it using at least a 300 dpi resolution. I usually use a 600 dpi resolution because the paper comes out white. If you don't have a scanner, take a photo with your phone or camera and upload it to your computer. We are going to work with the layers panel, so if you don't have it open, just go to Window, Layers or press F7. Then click on the padlock next to the background to unlock the layer. Right click on your layer and duplicate it. You can give it a new name, then press OK. I'm also going to make the bottom layer invisible. Now I'm going to use the crop tool, the shortcut is C, to remove the extra white space around the image. Just move the handles and then press enter or click on the check mark. Now I'm going to go to image adjustments levels. If your background is not white, Click on the eyedropper tool to sample the whitest area in your image. The arrows from the levels panel will move a little bit when you do that. Now click on the darker arrow and just move it a little bit to the right until your colors are vibrant. Then click on the white and move it again to make your background whiter. Since my background is already white because I've used the scanner, I'm just going to click OK to save the changes. Now if you take a look, you can see that the colors are not as bright in the original image. I didn't use watercolor paper for this image, but if you have, you can remove the texture from the white background by changing the levels or the brightness and contrast. Let's zoom in. Now I want to make a black background just under the layer that I'm working on. So I'm going to select the bottom layer, go to the bottom of the layers panel and click on create a new layer. Then I am going to use the fill tool to fill it with black. You can see here that the layer is now black. That will help me see the areas I want to remove. I know many people like to use the magic wand tool to remove the background. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to select the top layer and then click on the white. Because my tolerance is set to 50, you can see that it removes some of the edges of my illustration. So let's make the tolerance a bit smaller and then click on it. Now it works better, but it still leaves out some of the errors. So you can play with the tolerance, but I don't think this is the best method if you don't have a lot of contrast or if you don't have smooth lines. You can easily remove the white background in a non-destructive way by changing the blending mode. So go to the layers panel and double click next to the name of the layer. This slider is the only thing we need to remove the background. Make sure preview is checked to see what you are doing and also make sure blend if gray is selected. If you move this white arrow to the left, you will see the black background we made. But if you move this one, you might lose parts of the image and this is not exactly what we want. So I'm going to move it back to the right and then I'm going to hold down the Alt key or Option key if you're on a Mac, click on the arrow until it splits in half. Then just slowly move the arrow until you see the black background. Now, parts of my image are a little bit transparent and I want to keep that, so I'm going to move the arrow until about 180. This depends on how your image looks and what parts of it you want to keep. When you are happy with your watercolor, just click OK. Now, I'm going to use the eraser, the shortcut is E, to remove all these dots outside my watercolors that I don't want to keep. Now I'm going to remove the black background by dragging it to the trash can icon. 
Now, this method doesn't remove the background, it just makes it transparent. So if you hold down Control or Command and click on the thumbnail, you can see that it selects some strange area because I used the eraser tool to delete some of the dots. So press Ctrl D to deselect it and then select the bottom layer. Click on create a new layer to create an empty layer, then select the empty layer and the top layer. Right click on them and select merge visible. Now if you control click on the thumbnail, you can see that it will only select your artwork. Press Ctrl D to deselect it. Now you can save your watercolor or export it to Illustrator and factorize it. To save it, just go to File, Export, Export As. Choose Ping from File Settings and make sure transparency is checked. Then click Export All to save. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see more Photoshop and Illustrator tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thanks for watching!